Well, joining us now to discuss a little bit more about all this is Pennsylvania Congressman and member of the House Oversight and Reform Committee, um, Congressman Fred Keller, a friend of the show. Congressman Keller, thank you so much for joining us. I'm not sure if you could hear a little bit of what we were just discussing there with James Rosen, but what were your initial thoughts about President Biden's press conference yesterday? Well, I, we heard him speak for, for almost two hours, mm -hmm. and uh, while he covered a lot of ground, uh, it seemed like he wasn't prepared for some of the answers. But he was trying to talk about a successful year, and quite frankly, success to me would be maintaining energy independence, continuing to secure our southern border to make sure that we don't have people that are on a terror watch list coming across, making sure that uh, we don't have drugs coming across our southern border, getting people back to work, getting our kids back into school, and making sure the world understands that we're not going to put up with uh, the kind of behavior that we're seeing out of Russia and that we're seeing out of China. Yeah. Uh, by the way, the president took a moment out of uh, his presser to call out the Republican Party. Listen to this. I did not anticipate that there'd be such a stalwart effort to make sure that the most important thing was that President Biden didn't get anything done. Think about this. What are Republicans for? What are they for? Name me one thing they're for. So, Congressman, uh, what, what are they for? Is that a fair criticism of Republicans, or is he missing what their message is? Well, I, I would say this. Uh, what Republicans are for, we're for supporting our God-given rights under our Constitution. We're for a strong southern border. We're fu for funding our military. We're for energy independence. We're for people being able to earn a living and open their business. Uh, we're for kids getting back in school and being able to, to have the opportunity to learn. Uh, we're for all these things. Our basis isn't uh, against anything. We're not against the president. The problem is he hasn't come and included us in any discussion on policy that will move those, those, those things forward. Instead, he's been talking about his Build Back Better, where he didn't have one Republican in the room to come up with that legislation. So let, let's really talk, talk about this. We're not rooting for America to fail. We're rooting for America to succeed. But we're going to succeed when we're, we're together working on things. And quite frankly, the president didn't deliver on his promise of, of unity and working across the aisle. Instead, he's gone out time after time and, and talked about how he's frustrated with uh, 80 million Americans or more. And uh, I wish he would just take half of that energy that, yeah. he, that he projects you know, toward Americans and, did, and put it towards Putin and, and China. Yeah. Well, I just want to ask you very quickly, who are the five Republicans that he seems to think are on board with him spending more and more um, of our taxpayer dollars and money when we have inflation at a 40 year high? Five Republicans, well, I, he said. I, I'm not sure who. who well, I'm not sure what the list is. Uh, you know, I, I, I haven't seen that list, so I, I'm not sure who they are. But we told him a year ago, unchecked spending like they were trying to do is going to lead to inflation. And we've seen it happen. Yeah. yeah. All right. Congressman Keller, thank you so much for taking the time to join us. We appreciate it. Thank well, you, Heather. Thank you, Bob.